Hey, welcome back. In this video, we're going to look at real quickly how to use Git to connect to a remote GitHub repository. Now, there are a few assumptions about this video. First of all, you'll need to have created a personal access token on GitHub. If you haven't done that yet, please go there first and accomplish that task. You can... Okay. First of all, as you can see, I'm in my home directory. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a GitHub directory. Now, you don't necessarily have to, but because I'm going to be creating a number of projects, I find it easier to put these in a directory that's related to the repositories that I'm going to be using. Okay, inside of the GitHub directory, I'm going to create one more directory that's related to the repository I've created on GitHub. So I'll call this make directory my project. And realistically, you could call this anything. I'll CD into that project. Now, let me clear the screen. I'm going to initialize this repository by typing git init, and that will initialize this repository. Next, I'm going to add some commands to identify myself. So I'll type git config dash dash global user.name, double quotes, and my name. And I'll also type this again, git config dash dash global space user dot email, and I'll enter an email address. Now, for this demonstration, my email address is obscured. Once that's complete, if we do clear, the next thing that we'll need to do is actually connect to the remote Git repository. And I'm going to do that by typing git remote add. And I'm going to create an alias name called origin. You don't have to call this origin. You could call it any name that makes sense for the remote um, source code server that you're using. I'm calling it origin. And I'll type HTTPS colon slash slash. I'm going to say github.com. And then you'll use your username slash the name of the repository. I have a repository out here called week one assignment two dot get do that. Now I've added that as a remote repository. And if I type git space remote dash V, you can see that I have access now to that repository. The next thing I want to do is set up the access token to be used for this repository. This is an important step because later on, as I do a commit or a pull, I want to be able to do that without having to type my username and password every time. And this is where the tricky part with GitHub comes in. GitHub does not allow basic authentication, but what you can do is use a personal access token. So let's first clear the screen. I'm going to type git remote set URL origin. That's my alias. Again, I'm going to specify the HTTPS. And at this point, I'm going to use the same type of methodology we would use for basic auth. That is, you would supply the username and then followed by the password. So I'm going to type in my username, Michael Rogers. This is also my account name on GitHub. And then it'll be colon. And I'm going to put in the actual personal access token. Now, again, this token, you'll have to set up on GitHub in order to use it. As you can see here, pasting it in, and it is blurred out because I don't want you to have access to it. After you've entered the access token, you need to type the at symbol, and now you're specifying where this basic auth will be used. And I'm gonna say it's used at github.com slash, again, your username, and then the actual repository. And so this again is week one, assignment two dot get. We'll hit enter. I'm going to clear the screen. And at this point, we're going to go ahead and do a get fetch origin. We're going to pull all of the commits and um, things that have been added to this remote repository. And once that's complete, it's going to pull down a number of objects. Then we're going to do get log. 
And as you can see here, it's telling me that my branch is set to master and I don't have any commits yet. So what I want to do is I want to switch to the main branch, as you can see what's listed here. What we do that is we type git, which main hit enter. Now we're set to the main branch. If I type git branch, you can see that we're on the main branch. If I do git pull origin. I'll pull down any changes that have been added. And as you can see here, we're already up to date. The final thing I'm going to do is type git log, and this will give me the commit history of everything that's gone on in that repository. We'll type Q to quit and clear the screen. And if I do an LS, we can see the various files that have been added to this repository. For those of you using a Linux based or Mac OS system, when you type LS space dash LA, it's going to list a little more details, file history and so forth. We'll hit enter. We can see that there is the .git file, which is important. There's the license file an index.html and a mystyle.css. What I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to edit that mystyle.css. I'll hit enter and I have a few details in here. So I'm going to change some of these. I'll go to the end. I'll hit I for insert, insert mode. And I'm going to say that the background color of my site is pink. I'll hit escape, colon W to write it, colon Q to quit. Now I've made some changes. And I want to push those changes back up and because I've already added my personal access token, it will automatically push those changes. So what I'll type is git add dot. This will stage everything from this directory down Then I'll type git commit dash M and then the message that I'm going to choose to relay for this commit, modify the back color of the site. Okay. Those commit changes have been made to the local repository. So now it's important that I do it to the GitHub repository, the remote repository. And to do that, I need to type git push origin. I'm pushing to that alias, which represents the github.com, my username in that repository. I hit enter and that's it. We have success. Okay, that's it for now for this video. Hopefully that was helpful and you learned a little bit more about how to commit your files with Git. I'll see you next time. Again, please don't forget to like and subscribe and so you can stay to date with all the latest videos.